Hey, are you battling with your college debt? Are you struggling to close new patients or just get them in the door? Our system is designed to create weight loss and nutritional clients into raving chiropractic fans. This program can easily increase or possibly double your income. So get ready and become the chiropractic authority. This may be the most important podcast you're going to listen to on The Chiropractic Authority. This is T-Bone, Aaron Tressler. Hanging out with Dr. Kyle Muir, (laughs) K-Dog. Hey, you got to have fun out there. Hey, listen, we are going to go through these amazing millionaire bombs. These are bombs that millionaires do. If we're not doing them, we are not acting as millionaires. We're not going to become them. They do these certain habits to become millionaires, to become wealthy, to become successful. You have to do these things to be successful. Yeah, so your top three things that you need to do that we have found from all these different millionaires across the board, not just chiropractic, but everywhere, business, entrepreneurs, anything that you can think of, they have these same three things in common. Number one, they're able to add time to their life, to their days. Add time. And so, I'll, I'll explain this here in a second. So, so we're going to have more than 24 hours. Yep. Essentially. I'll, Essentially. I'll show you how this works. Because <laughs> everyone asks, hey, I need more time in the day. I don't have enough time in the day. I don't have enough time in a day. But Steve Jobs, I don't know. Did he break time? Did he have more than 24 hours? No. no. Bill Gates? No. no. Nobody in history has broke 24 hours in a day. How does this happen? And we're going to explain that to you. Number two, you find one person, one group, and you just engross yourself in that group. And I'll explain why that's important. And number three, you got to commit. You got to commit to being the authority. You've got to be the authority because, you know, if you're the opposite of authority, you're an amateur. Who wants to be an amateur? Not Imagine this guy. Being in the, in, the, in the farm league in baseball. That would suck, man. Or you're powerless. You're known as, hey, Doc Powerless. That's good. <laughs> or a student. Who wants to be a student the rest of their life? And this is something I never saw, Greenhorn. Yeah, you're going to be a Greenhorn. You're going to be a Greenhorn. What's a Greenhorn? (laughs) Basically, a Greenhorn, I I used to play this game all the time when I was a kid, right? It was called, um, oh, crap, Oregon Trails. (laughs) Oregon Trails. A Greenhorn Where did you live? <laughs> Ohio, Ohio. Yeah, everyone knows about it. If you, if you guys know Oregon Trails, it was it was like the greatest game ever. But anyway, a greenhorn was just a newbie. It was a new beginner, just a brand new person. So you didn't want to be the greenhorn because uh, they were the first people to die in the game because they <laughs> the didn't green. know they didn't know what the heck they were doing. So if you're the authority, you don't have to be the greenhorn. No, sir. All right. So we want to be the authority. All right. So here. Number one, adding time to your day. Yeah, right. All of us, we only have 24 hours in a day. But what you need to do is you need to be able to leverage those hours into your favor, right? So a lot of docs, I mean, I've heard this a ton. And I have personally said this myself in the past. But how am I supposed to get this done? There's not enough time in the day. How am I? I don't have enough time. Well, does anybody out there, do you guys listen or watch TV at all? Do you guys watch the football games on Sundays or the football games on Saturdays? Or the you, reruns and yeah, the shows. Are you watching the reruns? Are you watching movies? You know, if you're doing any of those things, you got extra time in the day. Yeah, stop it. The, the, the shows are recorded. You can watch them later on. If your favorite show you love so dearly, watch it 10 years from now when you have the time and the money. You don't have the money right now. You need to make the time. Stop doing bad habits. So listen to this. So let's say you just do this. I don't know what time you guys wake up, but just wake up 15 minutes early, Monday through Friday. Just that's it. So not two hours. I don't so have to not, get up three in the morning. No, no, no. So if you wake up just 15 minutes early, I know most people, you guys probably out there, you might wake up at seven, I don't know, six, five, but 15 minutes, it's not a lot of time. But if you do this five days in a week, that's an hour and 15 minutes extra every single week, just from those days. You do that every week of the month. We're talking seven and a half hours over the length of a month. If you just did that, hmm. that's an extra work day. You do uh, that every single month. You got 12 extra days. You got almost two extra weeks every year to put in extra work, whether it's training, whether it's reading manuals, books, listening to podcasts. You got an extra two weeks. So to become the authority, you have to be engaged in something over and over and over and over, learning to gain the knowledge to be the authority. And you're saying with 15 minutes, that'll give you the time. Absolutely. Now let's take this a step further. This is a really easy one. 
A lot of people out there, do you like working on the weekends? I mean, do you love doing that? Uh, I I do. Um, I, I don't mind working on the weekends, but it, we always say, boy, I'd like to just have weekends free, party, do nothing. Yeah, yeah. screw that. Yeah. Screw so, that, because I don't so, do it. <laughs> yeah, screw that, because if you're wasting the weekends, I mean, we're talking, even just don't even count Friday, just Saturday and Sunday. 24, 48 hours right there. Boom. 48 hours. Yeah, wow. You don't have to work every hour of those 48 hours every single weekend. But let's just say you woke up two hours early. You're used to waking up at 8 o'clock. Let's say you wake up at 6. Even if you have kids, your kids probably up and aren't about at 8 o'clock mm-hmm. in the morning. So you get two solid hours in the morning to work. And then that night, they go to bed at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. You work two extra hours at night. So that's four total extra hours, and you still have your entire day to do whatever the heck you want to do. You want to watch football? Watch football. You want to play outside? You want to do whatever the heck you want to do. You want to pick your nose? I don't care. (laughs) But you do two hours earlier in the morning, two hours at night. That's four extra hours. You do that Saturday and Sunday. So that's eight extra hours every single week just Mm, from that. That's a whole day. So that's a day. Plus you add in the extra hours hour and 15 minutes from the 15 minutes waking up early. If you guys do that every single week in one month, guess how many hours you get? Tell us. 37 extra hours Dude. every month. Dude, no way. 37 So hours. 37 extra That's hours. a whole week. Yeah, and we're not talking a lot of time. We're talking about 15 minutes early, Monday through Friday, two hours in the morning and two hours at night every Saturday yeah. and Sunday. Or- That's 37 hours. You get an extra week. So instead wow. of having four weeks in a month, you got five just from that. You yeah. do that every single – every month, right? You're, now you have 12 extra weeks. That's three extra months. You just wow. in, you just created 15-month years. 15-month years just because of a few extra hours. And if you're a night owl, do the four hours at night. If you're early like me, I, I'm not productive at night. I can load things in for our podcast and do a lot of business so stuff on the computer, but I can't study and train at night. I do my Bible and my studying and my preparation all in the morning. It's easy for me to get up at five. I'll work till seven, three hours, maybe even eight, four hours of, I mean, eight or nine, four hours of, of work before the kids get up, have breakfast and do anything. And the, the excuse that you'll say or you'll hear is, but this is a family day. Your family isn't up at six. <laughs> Your wife isn't up at six. You're not spending quality time at seven o'clock for breakfast. Have breakfast at nine after you put in four hours. You can even include a 15, 20 minute workout in. You need to be the authority. You need to prepare your mind and your body. You can do that. That's a powerful thing. Four hours each day on the weekend, 15 minutes each day, and you just exploded your authority, your ability to, to succeed. That's what the millionaires are doing. That's what successful people are doing. And here's the other thing. If you guys don't want to work four hours on the weekend, Weekends, just wake up an extra 30 or 45 minutes every single day. There you go. And you could do it that way. So there's lots of different options, guys, but you have to be committed to yourself and committed to your, your mission and your dreams to be able to do this. You know, you're not going to just do this because I said, hey, here's this is a good idea, or Dr. Right. Tressler said, hey, this is a good idea. You have to want it. Yeah. You have to want to be able to do that. You want to have to succeed because not everyone does that. Right. Right? Hardly anyone does that, but yeah. millionaires all do it. Yeah. And once you get in the habit of doing it, I have done it. And I've created that. It gets easier and it gets really hard to watch TV. I hate watching TV unless it's a a football game or something that I have interest. I don't want to sit down and watch a show unless it's with my kids or something. But that's it. I'll I'll get work done. In fact, this weekend, what I did, my daughter had had a practice at 645. I had to travel. We had to get up at 5 in the morning. We had to leave at 530 because it takes over an hour to get there. 645 till 10 o'clock was her practice, Sunday morning, and I'm still going to church. So I took my laptop and I took my books and I did three hours worth of work before she was done with practice, before most people wake up and bam, I just got that in. Now I can have a productive day. And I still went to church. Look at all that. <laughs> so and I got you it still all done. crushed it the entire day. Number two, this is finding one mentor or one group that you need to just in fully engross, go all out in that one group. You know, I've tried to do this before. We've tried to do it before where we're in, you know, you try one coaching group and now you're working with multiple coaching groups and one person saying one thing, someone saying something else. Yeah. It doesn't mesh. Everything starts getting all, all corroded because you don't know what's right and what's wrong. Right. You're reading different books from different people that are saying all different things. And then you're just like, ah, screw it. Like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Just find one person. If it's us, listen to us every single week. 
Follow what we tell you to do every single day. Just you know, start implementing. Just keep implementing it. If it's another coaching group, just engross in them, right? We just it, just do one group. That's it. That, yeah. I think that's one of the most important things that I've discovered is just you know stick to one thing because there are too many people trying to tell you too many different things. Yeah, and I've been coached for probably 18 of the 21 years. And I, the reason I wanted to do this coaching is it's simple. It's powerful. It is. It covers everything from A to Z. But it walks you through the the aspects of the office that you have to do. It doesn't give you a lot of hype saying you need to be emotional and and you need to make sure your patients cry. We have patients cry, but they'll buy if they don't cry. It's the steps, the procedures. I we I really wanted to get this out because Dr. Muir, when you've done it, it's it's productive. It's easy. It's not hard to follow. You don't have to be a nutritionist. You don't have to be a, a dietitian. You don't have to understand weight loss. You just have to follow a system. Then you can pour your passion out exactly what you want to do. That's why I did it. And if it's us, get involved, get engaged, watch, get in the coaching, get the videos and start watching them day in and day out over and over. Ingrain it in your head. Make it become part of your practice and watch your practice grow. Yeah, I think the, the easiest way I can relate this one to is I was a decathlete in college, so I'm doing all 10 events, right? Um, in Indoor, we only had seven events, but I'm doing 10 events. How can I possibly, let's say that I started off doing discus. That was probably my favorite thing to do. If I'm training discus, but I'm also doing nine other events, how am I supposed to become great at discus? I can't, Yeah. right? I cannot devote... Time to all ten of those things. Yeah. Right. Same thing. If Probably you guys only have three or four. Yeah. If you, yeah, if, if, that. you if you guys have multiple things that you're hearing, multiple coaches are telling you different things, multiple books are telling you different things. You cannot you cannot zone in and zoom in on one particular thing. Yeah. You're doing all these different things. So I was good at all of the things, but if I went into an individual event, so if I went into the individual discus with all the other discus only throwers i would get destroyed because that's all that they're doing they're training on discus every single day all every week right getting better and better and better while i'm doing that once a week yeah and trying to do the other different things so that brings us to number three you got to commit to being the authority you got to commit to being the best in your space, the best in your area, and the only way you're going to do that is by training every single day. I don't care. All of your free time, whatever free time that you get, you better be training. You better be watching videos, listening to podcasts. I drive 45 minutes from my house to our office one way and then 45 minutes home every single day of the week. And I'm listening to podcasts during that time. I'm listening to our training. I'm listening to reading the scripts that we wrote so I can get better at it. Do I know the scripts? Yeah, I know the scripts. You wrote them. I I wrote them. (laughs) Could I get better at them? Yes, I can. Because no one's perfect. You're going to forget things or something's going to pop up. But if you don't continually train, you're never going to get better. You know, look at the best baseball players in history. They didn't just get good one day and then stop practicing. They still practice every single day. Right? Yeah. And that's I'll be in my car driving. My my drive's a little shorter, but I'll do scripts in the car. I'll be ten like I'm talking to a patient on day one, exactly what I'm gonna say. And sometimes I I tweak something that sounds really good, I can record it and then write it down and study it. And that's how you get you get better and you get these ninja moves. So when pa- when patients say to you, Ah, oh, Doc, I don't know. This is too much time. Boom, you can get it. We just scheduled a gentleman this morning. He came in just to lose weight. He had been under chiropractic care, which in most cases, they don't want to be examined. They, they got it, man. They, they know it. He was an ex-football player, and that's all we talked about, his, his sports. Now, he's 55 years old, so this is 30-some years ago. And I said, no, I get it. And I didn't tell him. I said, no, I get it. I still play rugby. And he looked at me like, dude, you're crazy. And I said, I'm still doing it. And here you are. You're talking about something that happened 30 years ago. And I said, listen, you need to have your spouse at the report. And we're going to come up with a program for you. I need to examine your spine. He said, let's do it. Totally on board. But I knew what I had to say. And I knew where he was going with this sports thing and with this I've seen another chiropractor. I was well scripted. I was ready to handle it. I was the authority. He didn't blink an eye. He went through the entire exam and he set he set up to bring his wife in. Think about this, guys out there. You know, if you take 
all of your free time, because like I said before, we all have free time where we're watching movies or watching TV shows that improve nothing in our lives. It's just yeah. time to be dead like space. dead. Yeah. yeah, just to be dead. And, and you know what? That's okay. You can have dead space. Don't think that you never have to have that. But many of you out there, there's eight hours of dead space and no training or one hour of training and seven hours of dead space. Come on. You need to balance this out. Have family ta- time. Have God time. Have church time. Have wife time, spouse time, husband time. But have training time too. So <clears throat> if you guys take the next year, let's say year, five years, 10 years, even 15 years of all of your free time, okay? You take those 15 years and you're just devoted to just crushing it and learning all these things, but then you can retire with financial freedom, freedom to do whatever you want to do, freedom to retire and never have to work again 15 years from now. Wouldn't that be worth it? I mean, there are people out there right now who are just going to work and coming home, not doing anything in between in every different profession when they're just waiting until they're 65 to hopefully be able to retire, 70 years old, hopefully be able to retire so they can rely on Social Security and all these things. Guess what? That's not going to be here You know, by the time you guys are ready to retire. It's just not going to happen. So if you're not busting your tail now to get to that point in all of your free time, you're going to try and retire. You're not going to be able to. You're going to be working until you till you die. Yeah, and just imagine if we had 20, 30, 40, 50,000 chiropractors as multi-millionaires, what would we do to this planet? What would we do to the education and the marketing? And I hope that your retirement means the freedom to do what you want, but not stop promoting chiropractic. I don't think there is retirement. I think we should work and train until the day we die, but you'll have the freedom to do what you want. If you don't want to adjust, you don't have to adjust. If you want to go out and teach and coach, teach and coach. If you want to just spread the good news of chiropractic, do that. You'll have the money and you'll have the time and we as a profession can take over healthcare the way it should be we should be doing this my goodness coca-cola spends billions in advertising and we can't people know coca-cola but they don't know chiropractic we need to change that and if we don't get that going in our society over the next five years, 10 years, where will we be in the next 20, 30, 50 years? Where will our, our children, where will their lives be? What what will be the the um, the the society then? How many kids are out there going to be healthy and strong and understand this? It's up to us to change this. All right, guys. So in closing with this, I mean, this is huge. What I want you guys to start doing, number one, is start waking up just 15 extra minutes Monday through Friday. If you wake up at at 7, get up at 6.45. But don't just waste that time. I mean, it's not it's not worth anything if you just wake up and then you're just moping around or, you know, you're messing around washing your face for 15 minutes in the bathroom. You need to utilize that time. So wake up 15 minutes early Monday through Friday. And here's a great way to utilize it. Prepare the night before, which I do. I have my books ready. So when I get up, I walk downstairs, my Bible, my books, my training is right there. My computer's right there. There's nothing I'm messing around with. Boom. I can get engaged within the first two minutes of waking up. Another aspect of that, I I wanted to mention is plan out your time. Just break it up into either 15 or 30 minute blocks. So yep. you say the night before you want to write down, okay, tomorrow I'm going to wake up at 645 and from 645 to you know seven o'clock, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the Bible or what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to this podcast or what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch a couple of the training videos. And then after that 15 minutes is over, my next 15 minutes, I'm going to do something else. And then my next 30 minutes, I'm going to do something else. So break up your time. When you keep it into small blocks like that, it's manageable and then you can understand what you're going to do and then you can start checking things off and believe me when you start checking things off of your list that hey I accomplished this this and this and at the end of the day you see that holy crap like I trained for two hours today and I got all of this done and I in this short of time and I still have free time to hang out with my family it's going to blow your mind on top of that, start waking up two two hours early on Saturday and Sunday. Start doing more work two hours at night on Saturday and Sunday. That's going to get you that extra 37 hours a month, that extra three months a year of work that you're going to put in. Think how much further ahead you are going to be of all of the people in your area. You're going to be the authority if you're working you know, an extra three months compared to what hmm. they're doing. Wow. You're going to crush it. 
And the only way, this may sting, docs, the only way you're going to be able to wake up two hours early on a weekend is you got to go to bed early. You can't be out drinking until two in the morning. You can't be out partying all night long. Get your party in early. Get to bed early. Manage your time wisely. And it doesn't mean you have to do that every single weekend throughout the year. But what if you only, what if you only did that three weekends you know, yeah. you'd almost you'd have two months at least, yeah. or over two Huge. months. You know, just start planning it out. Next thing, guys, train every day. The only way you're going to become great at something is train every day. So what? I forget what book that was, but ten thousand hours. They say you got to do ten thousand hours yeah. of something if you want to be great at it. Yeah. Well, if you're watching TV, ten thousand hours are good for you. You know, you're you're, you're great TV at watching watcher. TV. Okay, <laughs> but you know, you got to train. You got to keep after it. Pick one coach and follow them. Just engross yourself in all their information. Do as much as you can, as fast as you can, and for as long as you can so that you can gain all of their knowledge and utilize that to your advantage. Um, and those are the three That's things, it. guys. So it really comes down to listen to this podcast, write them down, listen to it on your way to work several times, get engaged, start implementing, and start with this challenge. The 15 minutes every every morning, two hours on a weekend, in the morning, two hours at night, do something, engage. And you, if you need help, go to our coaching. We have the Chiropractic Authority. Go to our website, look at our coaching program. It is so mapped out, so detailed. It's ridiculous. We put in so much time. And to think about this, I have a farm. We coach already. We, do, we shoot podcasts every week, both on the Chiropractic Authority and one for the, the weight loss program for for the community and your community as well. Plus, we have a, an office. Plus, we have family. It's we do all that. Yet we find time to get it done every week. So, if you need help and and to do this coaching and, and all the videos, my gosh, we shot video after video after video, hours and hours planning this out. How do we get it done? We plan our time. So, if you need help, go to the Chiropractic Authority. Go to the website. Contact us. We'll sit. We'll give you a call. We'll talk to you. See if we can help you. See if this program is right for you. And until next time, guys, this is Dr. Kyle Muir. Dr. Aaron Tressler. And we are the Chiropractic Authority. For more information about the Chiropractic Authority, run on over to thechiropracticauthority.com where you can start training today on our free videos, free training material, webinars, PowerPoints, our innate life systems, coaching, and much, much more. This information will blow you away. So thanks for listening, and until next time, this is Aaron. And this is Kyle. We We are are the Chiropractic Chiropractic Authority. Authority.